Hi, Megan. Uh, thank you so much for accepting my invitation uh, for today for interview with you. Uh, uh, in the first uh, beginning, uh, I would like you to please uh, introduce yourself to our audience. Hi, Lely. Thank you so much for interviewing me. Um, my name is Megan Janicki. I am the Deputy Director of Strategic Initiatives at the Public Policy and Advocacy Office of the American Library Association. Um, we're based in Washington, DC. Thank you so much. So the, the first question is that, uh, what is the role of public libraries in providing uh, entrepreneurship, social uh, entrepreneurship services? Yeah, great question. Um, so for the last two years, ALA has been running a program called Libraries Build Business, which is a grant initiative that funded 13 public libraries to support um, aspiring and existing entrepreneurship initiatives or entrepreneurs in their, um, in their local communities and small business owners. So, um, you know, libraries, the reason libraries should be involved, especially public libraries in um, social entrepreneurship or entrepreneurship at all is because of the equity, diversity and inclusion um, principles. So um, with libraries involved, uh, entrepreneurs have better access to um, resources, capital, uh, information, all of the things that they would need to start a business, um, especially individuals who may be underrepresented in business, such as low income, black, brown, immigrant, um, women, so all of these populations that um, may otherwise lack the access to capital can find that at the library. Um, so that's a really important reason for libraries to um, support entrepreneurs. Yes, thank you. Thank you for uh, giving uh, your thoughts. Um, I would like to know uh, in your idea, what kind of uh, skills do our librarians, especially like uh, uh, public librarians need for uh, providing social entrepreneurship services? Yeah, great question. Um, so some of the libraries that we worked with for Libraries Build Business um, used like uh, specialists, so people that had a background in business librarianship, and others used more of just their regular uh, generalist uh, librarians that maybe just did adult services or other general services at the library. And I think either works. I think in order to um, excel at um, providing support to entrepreneurs and small business owners, library uh, workers need to be ready to partner with people in their local community. They need to be good at outreach um, and they need to be kind of open-minded and curious about their business community in order to best figure out how to support them. So I don't think there are special skills that you need necessarily, as long as um, you know how to find partners, you know how to find uh, populations that need your services and can kind of connect those things. Thank you. So you mentioned about like a uh, community. In the next question, I would like to know that uh, what would be the role of community in receiving social entrepreneurship, especially like uh, regarding the public libraries as they are connected with, with the community? Yeah, so libraries um, are very are critical kind of institutions in their community. They provide connection, they provide access points. Um, in some communities, they're the only institution that's kind of public serving, um, depending on how far or how rural or how remote your community might be. So um, the community is a really important piece of providing services that, that fit. Um, you need to find out what the community needs in order to provide services that will um, have an impact. And then also to get the feedback from the community so you can continue to evolve and adapt um, and work alongside other agencies and organizations that are also uh, supporting entrepreneurs. Um, and this is all part of kind of that ecosystem of a thriving local economy and integrated services that benefit the whole community. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, it was great uh, answer for my question. And uh, at the last, I would like to know uh, about a new idea that uh, impact of holding uh, international events, such as like, as you know, we are uh, engaged with international conference on entrepreneurship and libraries. 
I would like to you know because I know that you have a book also about public libraries, the role of public libraries in uh, on entrepreneurship and doing businesses. So I would like to note that um, the holding the impactful holding this kind of events for especially for public libraries, what will be the impact? Yeah, I think that's a great question. Um, I think something we learned from our initiative, Libraries Build Business, is one of the most valuable things that library workers uh, got from the initiative was the, the peer learning and connection with other library workers around the country that were working on um, various things. They could offer one another ideas, resources, um, support during challenging times. So I think that's the case for, um, expanding our, our network to international as well. It's so wonderful to connect with people who are trying similar things or trying totally different things and being able to learn from them and support them and kind of grow the whole field um, professionally. And, you know, of course, uh, to the benefit of the local economy and um, kind of those thriving communities that I mentioned. So I've really, uh, you know, enjoyed um, I've had the opportunity to give presentations for like the Iranian Public Libraries Foundation, for example, and other international groups. Um, so I think it's just such a great opportunity to connect with people and share ideas. And that's actually one of the most valuable ways to grow professionally um, is just to meet lots of other people. Yeah, thank you so much. And I must tell you that I, uh, I personally enjoyed with your uh, presentation when you were giving to our public librarians in Iran. It was really great. Thank you Thank so much, you. Megan, for your time and uh, very valuable uh, experiences that you, you shared with, with me and with our audience. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Laili. Thank you so much.